Welcome to WMUL-FM Training. I'm Mike Stanley. This is the third video in our series on Rivendell Radio Automation. In this video, we will cover the seven widgets that make up the top bar in RD AirPlay. Each widget conveys important information about the system or the song that is playing. The first widget in the upper left hand corner is the wall clock. It displays the current date and time. It defaults to 24 hour mode, but you can click on it to toggle between 12 hour time and 24 hour time. Take note that all the time displays in RD AirPlay are changed, not just the display on the clock widget. The halfway exception is the full log, which will still use 24 hour time, but also add the AM or PM. So it will toggle between displaying just 1600 hours and 1600 hours PM. The next widget is the post point counter. It is immediately to the right of the wall clock. There are certain points in the log that are set to occur at a scheduled time. Generally, the top of each hour is such a timed event. We will cover timed events in more detail in video 08 RD AirPlay timed events. The post point counter displays two pieces of information about the next timed event. The top line in the smaller font is the wall clock time when the next timed event is scheduled to occur. In this case, it is scheduled for 1600 hours. The bottom line in the larger font tells you how on time the log is. It shows the difference between how much music is scheduled between now and the next timed event and how much actual time remains between now and the next timed event. If the difference between those two durations is less than one second, the box will be green and it will display on time. If there is more music scheduled than will fit, then the box will be red and it will display a positive time. If there is not enough music scheduled to reach the next timed event, the box will be yellow and it will display a negative time. In this case, we have 3 minutes 30 seconds more music scheduled before 1600 hours than actual time remaining. Now I have deleted a few songs and it is now showing that we are 35 seconds short of 1600 hours. Generally you want this number to read between minus 1 minute and plus 4 minutes. We will cover timed events in video 08 RD AirPlay timed events and planning your program in video 09 RD AirPlay planning your program to the clock. The next widget is the VU meter. It is below the wall clock and the post point counter. It shows the audio levels of the song being played by the system. It is normal for these meters to be deep into the red. The scale on this meter is different from the scale on the audio console. Zero on this meter is approximately negative 12 on the audio console. Despite the different scales, these meters are useful for quick troubleshooting. If you have levels on the software meters, but not on the board, that probably means the channel is turned off on the board. If you have no levels on the software, that probably means that either there is nothing playing, that the file has no audio, or possibly that the audio is just very low. The next widget is the Pi Wedge. It is located in the center of the top bar. This widget shows how much of the song has elapsed and how much is remaining, along with some other information about the song. The bright green portion shows the time elapsed and the dark green portion shows the time remaining. At two different places in the song, the Pi Wedge will show additional information. Here we are during the final 15 seconds of the song. The middle of the Pi Wedge counts you down to the end of the song. The ring around the Pi Wedge also fills up during the final 15 seconds. At the beginning of a song that has talk markers set, the Pi Wedge will count down the duration of the talk timer. The center of the Pi Wedge will display the numbers to count down, and a portion of the wedge will also show the elapsed and remaining time in the talk marker. Talk markers are usually set to the point in the song where the lyrics start. The next widget is the next stop timer. It is on the upper right toward the middle. It counts down until the next stop in the log. The top line, in the smaller font, displays the wall clock time when the next stop will occur. 
In this case, it is 0 hundred, 33 hours, 34 seconds. The second line, in the larger font, counts down the hours, minutes, and seconds until that stop. In this case, it is 9 hours, 11 minutes, and 55 seconds. For a music log, the next stop will usually be the end of that day's log, as is the case here. News and sportscasts will have stops in the log after each break so that the announcers can go on air. A stop in the log can come from three places. One, at the end of the day's log, that day's log will quote unquote stop, and the next day's log will be loaded and started automatically. Two, when a song has a stop transition. We will cover transitions in video 15, Log Transitions. Or three, when the mode is set to manual or live assist, then the next stop will be the end of the current song. When the log is actually stopped, then the countdown will display stopped, and the time of the next stop will be none. The next widget is the Mode Indicator button. It is in the upper right hand corner next to the Next Stop widget. There are three modes, Automatic, Manual, and Live Assist. In Automatic mode, the system will keep playing songs until it hits a song with a stop transition. In Manual mode, the system will finish playing the current song and then stop. The operator will have to manually start the next song. If the operator keeps the system in Manual mode, then it will stop again after that song finishes. WMUL FM does not use Live Assist mode. Whatever you think this mode does, that's not what it does. Live Assist mode is similar to Manual mode in that the system will stop after each song. The difference is if the operator starts a second song while a song is already playing. In Manual mode or Automatic mode, starting a second song will cause the first song to stop and the second song to play. If I were to click the Start button on Hourly Promo, then Harvest Time would stop playing and Hourly Promo would play instead. In Live Assist mode, both songs just keep playing at full volume on top of each other. Now, if I were to click the Start button on Hourly Promo, then both Hourly Promo and Harvest Time would play over top of each other. In addition to the Mode Indicator button itself, the user interface changes in several places when switching from Automatic to Manual mode and from Live Assist mode to Automatic. When I switch to Manual mode, the next stop is now counting down to the end of the song, and the top line is showing the wall time for the end of the song. The pie wedge and the cart label are filling in red instead of bright green to show elapsed time. The post point counter is now blank. The appearance of the user interface will be essentially the same in Live Assist mode. One difference between Rivendell Radio Automation and our previous system, Wide Orbit, is what happens when you switch from Manual to Automatic mode. In Wide Orbit, if the system were stopped and in Manual mode, and the operator clicked over to Automatic mode, it would also automatically start playing the next song. Rivendell does not automatically start the next song. The operator has to click the start button on the desired song. The thing to do if you are stopped and in manual mode is to start the song and then switch over to automatic mode. The final widget is the label area. Commands can be sent to display text in this area. WMUL has not yet decided how or if we will use this feature. That concludes our video on the top bar of RD AirPlay. We covered the seven widgets that make up the top bar. The wall clock widget displays the time. The post point counter counts down to the next timed event. The VU meters display the audio levels of the audio that is playing. The pie wedge displays how much of the song has elapsed and how much is remaining. The next stop counter counts down until the next stopping point in the log. The mode indicator button allows the operator to toggle between automatic manual and live assist modes. Don't use live assist. And the label area allows for brief messages to be displayed on the screen. Our next video will cover the main log in RD AirPlay. Thanks for watching.